your major league debut against the Yankees in 1947? 47, I was able to, to come up with and pitch against the Yankees. Uh, and that was the, an old timer's day. It was the last game of the season. And Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb, Honus Wagner, Dizzy Dean, I mean, everybody I had ever read about in baseball was there. And I think from the time I got out on the bench and saw all these old timers until it came time to warm up, I never did get my mouth closed. I, I just, it was really a, what they call a jaw dropper. It, it was, just wonderful to see them, and the, the babe had had his first surgery. He did not dress nor play, but he did come down uh, behind the dugout and wave to the people when they called his name. He had had his first uh, surgery for throat cancer. Uh, but that was a tough day, uh, sure. but then pitching against the Yankees in Yankee Stadium, it's never a good day. It's always a, it's always a tough day. And you went you went to the mound where they they made a special brace for you. At yes, I did. I went to the uh, the uh, Shriners mm -hmm. Hospital in Greenville, South Carolina. They told me that they had a fellow there who worked with uh, all the braces for the kids in that hospital. So I went up and talked to him privately and. Uh, showed him my leg and what my problem was and that I needed a brace and he helped me uh, come up with something that worked. It was a combination guard and brace. Uh, I had nothing but scar tissue on my shin and uh, I had osteomyelitis which is a bacterial infection of the bone that you get from that kind of wound. And most amputations, I understand, uh, Dr. Brubaker said uh, during the wars are due to the fact that they know that you've had the kind of wound where you, you will develop that. Uh, it gets into the bone marrow and uh, uh, it's, it's pretty hard to handle. Uh, and if it ever gets started and you can't stop it, uh, uh, it, it can do you in. Uh, they didn't have the things they have now uh, where they can tell you what bacteria is there. That didn't exist. I might not have been the first, but there was an article in, uh, uh, in the Army paper about Corporal Slim Brissy meeting penicillin. But uh, I was one of the first to receive penicillin as a full-time treatment. I had a shot, I think, every three or four hours for three or four months. Uh, you could wipe a wet cloth across my skin and it'd come back a bright yellow. Uh, you smell like penicillin and you, you look pretty much like it after you got all that color in you. But they did that and along with uh, uh, I think I had 30 blood, whole blood transfusions over the period of the surgeries and the other, uh, other things. But uh, uh, I had magnificent surgeons and uh, Dr. Al Sarasi from District of Columbia, a native Washingtonian, did a lot of reconstructive plastic work, uh, I guess you'd call it. Uh, but I, the good Lord sent me a couple of angels, and uh, I was very, very fortunate uh, to have had them to look after me and take care of me over that period of time. Mm -hmm.